first and foremost for coming today and setting up this event and making it possible. So if you could give them all a round of applause. Thank you. Um, we also want to say thank you to Tufts Health Plan for sponsoring our beverage station today. And we have a lot of um, help and volunteers from our elected officials to members of our community that are here today. So some of them that we would like to say thank you to, and hopefully I don't forget anybody or leave you out. Uh, we have Monica Taveras from Tufts. We have Sandy Luca from Southeast Rehab. We have Brenda Sansone from West Acres. Our awesome craft lady. We have Jennifer from Emmanuel House. Thank you. We have a lot of our elected officials are here today. So we have Mayor Bill Carpenter, Councilor Sullivan is here, Councilor Winter Farrell is here with Allison and RJ to help out. Thank you. We have Ann Beauregard and Bill are here to help out. Oh, and Dennis Ayaneri just came in. Uh, we have John Buckley is here. Mark Lindy is here to help out today. We also have um, Representative Cassidy is here with us today. And then Amelia is here with, from Representative Cronin's office with us. Um, just so you know, we also have people from the Sheriff's Department up front that have information if you're curious about the things that they have to offer and they have some excellent programs. And then we also have people up front about the Mayor's Opioid Prevention Program, so if you want to learn a little bit more about that, you can do so. Well, hello everyone, welcome to our annual senior picnic. I think this is probably my eighth and ninth year doing this. Um, and I actually just celebrated a big anniversary this month six years as the COA director. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of that. Um, and I want to say thank you to everyone who's uh, made this journey so enjoyable. So if I could just have everyone's attention for a second, just a couple things. I'm wearing a badge. That means I'm the sheriff. And that means when I speak, you got to listen. So I thought this event started at noon. What time did you guys have on your invitations? Oh. Because everyone was here like at 9 o'clock this morning. So no wonder you get cranky around noon when we're trying to serve because you're hungry. My goodness. And this year, the back room, quiet please. This year, as you all know, is an election year. And that actually works in our favor. And you want to know why? Why? because we have a lot of candidates here and they are going to be put to work today. So if you've walked in this door, be ready to serve our 350 seniors. 
I want to say a huge thank you again to all our volunteers. Again, without our volunteers, we would be so lost. Thank you to my awesome, awesome staff, Michelle, Carla, Brian, and Dottie. That's us clapping like a horse would, if you're wondering what we're doing. Thank you, Charlie Tartaglia. Once again, you've uh, pulled through for us. Walk in high school. Thank you, VHS. I was a cheerleader. Thank you, thank you. Keyword was was. Was. And this year we're missing someone. Does anyone who would know who we're missing? <laughs> Please. George Cataldo. Aww. So, George Cataldo turned, drum roll please. George turned 90 years old on the 12th. And today, he decided he wasn't gonna be here to help us because he was hired to perform somewhere. Oopie doopie, right? Mm -hmm. So we all want to make sure we say happy birthday to George, 90, day, 90 years old, and he's still going strong. Love it. Last two things. We know this world is getting crazy. We see it on TV, hear it on the radio. We see it in social media. It is a hot mess. So what I want to ask of all of you is be kind to one another. Remember what we're all about in Brockton at the Council on Aging. Find joy, spread joy and love amongst each other, and don't get wrapped up in all the drama on TV, please. It's not worth it. And before I introduce Mayor Carpenter, because last year I forgot him, <laughs> this year I am not gonna forget, but I wanna ask um, two of our volunteers to come up here for a minute, Debbie and Nacho. Please. Aww. Come on, quick second. Hurry up, I get hungry seniors. So, as most of you may or may not know, we have two volunteers that are um, taking a different path in life, and they're going to be moving to New Mexico. They're actually going to be on the road tomorrow. So, I just wanted to say, and we've been saying it for weeks, thank you so very much. You have made a difference in our lives, my lives. I don't want to cry, but thank you so much. We love you dearly. And make sure you come to visit us, okay? Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce the mayor of our city, Mayor Carpenter. Yay. And he's not going to get my badge, even though he's in charge, but I'm holding on to my badge. Thank you, Janice. I, I just would like to echo also thanking everyone that's helped make today possible, all of our volunteers, Janice and her whole team here at COA, Michelle, Dottie, Carla, everybody at the COA. Um, this is just a terrific event. It's great to see everybody. I love the idea of having a picnic indoors with the AC on a hot day. I wish I'd been the one to think of it, but it's a great idea. Um, and we just hope that uh, Charlie Titagli and everyone else that helped uh, make the day possible, uh, hope that you enjoy. I'll be around to say hello to everyone. If you have a question or a comment for me, feel free to grab me for a minute. I'd be happy to talk to you. Enjoy the meal. Janice, thank you to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor.
has got to be your favorite event all year long. It's one of them for sure. Uh, I, I, the seniors enjoy this so much. Uh, in the middle of the summer, we're in here in the nice air-conditioned cafeteria. Georgia's Cafe food. Who doesn't like Georgia's Cafe? Um, I truly enjoy this. So this is funny. It's an every other year event. In election years, you can't go 10 feet without bumping into someone running for office. I wish they would all come on the off years because it's just as good of an event on the off years too. But it's really all about the seniors. But your volunteers, our staff at the COA, Georgia's Cafe, everyone coming together just to put on a great afternoon for the seniors. You know, and a lot of our seniors really look forward to this event. It's the food, the music, but it's also the friendship and having a chance to be out in a social setting enjoying a nice meal. So what do you have to say to all your constituents and senior friends? Well, I'm sorry, all my constituents. All your and senior friends. Oh, well, I, I hope we have even more next year. I mean, we're spending a lot of time trying to make sure that our seniors are safe. We're constantly working on new initiatives and uh, you know the seniors are critically important to us and I hope that if folks aren't involved in the Council of Aging right now they should make a trip down to the Council on Aging and see what it's all about because they've got great programs here for our seniors. One of the largest turnouts I've ever seen. Uh, the parking lot's filled and it's a great crowd at the high school here and we're fortunate the high school has the space to provide for it. Now um, seniors, uh, you know, certainly greatest generation, people that have given their all for the city different ways. Um, what do you have to say to your constituents that I, I know they love you? Well I'm very fortunate from all the support I've had in the community but we have to do what's right for our seniors. You know, they've fought and died so we have the freedoms that we enjoy here in America. And uh, we're looking to get some legislation to give seniors more tax breaks. There's a bill in my committee on revenue. We're looking to move it out after Labor Day and hopefully get it moved forward. We did a tax break for seniors a couple years ago, and we got to do another one because a lot of seniors are struggling just to put food on the table and cover the bills, and we have to do whatever we can for our seniors. Enjoy 
than yourself today. You've been to this for quite a few years. In quite a few years, I'm getting a little white hair, so I think I'm a senior citizen now, Mark. I know Mark doesn't have any here right exactly, now. Exactly, exactly. But, uh, you know, Mark and I have been coming here for years, and this is always one of the uh, true uh, gems of the, uh, the, the the year coming up here. The food's great, Charlie. Charlie does a phenomenal job, Charlie Vitalia, and, uh, of course, Janice. If it wasn't for Charlie, a lot of things wouldn't happen in Brockton, especially the food here. Charlie, how much fun is this? Uh, this is great. You know, we do it about 15 years now. And yeah. we do it, this was a record today, 12 minutes we should have 350 people. That's amazing, and we, yeah. we uh, I think we gave them a few too many meatballs, huh? Yeah, no, yeah, I think so. We just brought up another 100. So, Charlie, you've been involved in Brockton. I'm so happy to see the, the nice park in your name and all the hard work that you've done over the years. What do you have to say to all your friends in Brockton? Well, I just want to wish them well and a happy, happy, healthy year. And I can say that Brockton has been good to me. We've been in Brockton for 81 years. Oh, we like place, the waltz. Any, you like the waltz? The waltz, waltz, fox, trot, okay. practically anything. When You're having a good time, you enjoying oh, yeah. yourself? All the time, I love it. What's the best thing about it? The food. The food? Okay. <laughs> and the music. Okay, do you uh, participate? You got a lot of friends here? Oh, yeah. yeah do you I participate do. in all the different activities? Yes, at the I CLA? do. Just about. Favorite activity? Favorite activity is working at the desk. Oh, okay. Helping people. Yeah. Well, keep doing what you're doing. I good will. to see you. As long as I can. Take see care. You, Mark. you take care. Bob, you are around every place here at the Senior Center. You're serving the food today, but you also sing. You have a whole singing career. Tell us about that. I was one of the original 12 people that started the singing group back five years ago. Okay, and you, and do, you do appearances? We do appearances in nursing homes and any place that'll take us. senior picnic with Jacob Tagger, who's a candidate for Counselor at Large. Jacob, are you having fun? I'm having a blast. I'm gonna, we're out here serving, serving the um, residents, cleaning up. I, this is a blast. Public service, sir. Does, does this uh, remind you of mom and dad a little bit? Well, uh, my, my dad was a very social person. I mean, you just got to treat people with respect and just have a good conversation with people. I love it. The engagement between myself and the residents. I love it. We're here at the senior picnic, Shirley Asak and her lovely girls and uh, their friend who doesn't want to be in the picture, but that's okay. We drafted you anyway. Shirley, this is the best part. Every year you guys bring flowers for the seniors. How much fun is this? This is this is one of my favorite events. Um, we enjoy giving out the flowers. I think the seniors look uh, forward to them. I know throughout the year people say to me, oh, you're the little one that gave us some flowers, so it, we, we really enjoy it. And the girls enjoy it. Um, they get to see everybody. And Erin's grandparents are here, so so uh, 
um, oh, that's they're, nice. they're, they're part of the picnic, so this is really a wonderful event. We do this every year, and I think it's a great opportunity to um, to recognize our senior citizens, and um, I enjoy this event every year. You having a good time? This is one of the best times each year, but it reminds us how quickly a year goes by. And you can tell just from the crowd and the activities, everyone is having a great time. Charlie always puts on a wonderful meal. What's your favorite part? I think the favorite part is watching the dancing because if people think that because someone is older, they're not active, they ought to come up here and take a look and watch what goes on. And I think they'd have a whole different attitude about maybe those of us who are well past 50. Now, how important is uh, the seniors in terms of the fabric of Brockton? Oh, I think they're everything. And, and the population is going to be ever increasing, which is why I'm still very committed to try to move the senior center up to the Shaw's Center, rename it Mary Cruz Kennedy Center, and expand programs and services because people are living longer and the activities are important, health related activities, but also just general social activities for people who uh, need an opportunity to get out and about. is family to me. Okay. Yeah, uh, his niece, or his cousin Annie, live with my daughter okay. up in Bellingham. And when I saw the wonderful thing, now really, that Gazero takes the men fishing yeah. is a wonderful thing. And I was just thinking, how many people out there do special things that should come down to the senior center and say, I like to do this, maybe you have a group, because a lot of them sit around looking for something special to do. advocated a lot on behalf of seniors. You've done some legislation to help yep. them and benefit them. Um, tell us why it's so important. Well, you know, they always say this is the greatest generation. They made the sacrifices that give us the freedoms we all have. They worked hard. They built our community. They're still here and we have an obligation to them. Uh, this year in the House we were able to increase the funding for the all the Council on Aging's in the Commonwealth. It had a big increase. Pereira, a uh, candidate for mayor. What do you think of all these folks over here? I think it's beautiful. Beautiful. Alive and kicking. That's what we want to see. Okay. Uh, talk to them while you're here. Yes. About your ideas and for things certain. like that. For certain. So, one thing that's important for me is about aging in place and looking at how we take care of our senior citizens. And for me, it's about making sure that they have access to transportation, food, and make sure that they're living in a viable community. So, what we want to do and what I want to do in part of my campaign is to make sure that we get out there, that we advocate for our elderly and our youth as well, that we combine them as well and bring them together so that they're able to communicate and have access to the community and be represented well in the community as well. I was thinking about wondering when you
What do you think of this event? This is a great event. I think sometimes the uh, elderly and the older people, the older citizens kind of get lost in the wayside. This is great. I see all these people, nice smiling faces, and elected officials get to see these people and interact with them. They, you learn about their concerns, and you try to help them as much as you can, and I think it's a great idea. This is, this is awesome. Thank you.